Hi, everybody. Welcome to Baseballisms.com. I am Joe McGinnis, and I just finished recording a podcast with Tim Wiles, who's the director of research at the Baseball Hall of Fame, uh, and he's also the author of a book called Baseball's Greatest Hit, The Story Behind Take Me Out to the Ball Game. And during the podcast, you hear me reference a number of times how good-looking the book actually is, uh, and it's just a beautiful collection of articles and images, as well as uh, the copy that's written about the story of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. So I thought I would try to do this little video so you might get a sense of what the book looks like and you'll see how great of a copy table uh, gift that this might be. Uh, but of course, in a video like this, you're not going to get the full appreciation of what the book looks like, uh, but let's give it a shot anyway. Uh, here's the cover. And in the podcast, I actually reference how uh, the graphic designer that put this together used wood grain uh, in this section right here so that it looks like it's on a bat. You know, so it's just kind of some of the small details that you get uh, with a, a well-done book uh, that, that looks as beautiful as this. Also around on the cover, you just see some of the images and the uh, 45 records and things like that that are uh, throughout the book that, that you'll find. And, and really what this does, when you've got this much uh, great content in here, you, you read the stories and, and you'll uh, learn a lot about Take Me Out to the Ball Game, but you can also spend hours and hours just looking into the background of the pages and see what was used to actually give it the texture and feel uh, of a beautiful uh, gift book like this. Uh, for example, I'll take you to a page here where we get the intro story, and uh, here's a photo that uh, you're not going to find too many places, but it's Harry's last seventh inning stretch. Of course, there's Harry Carey leaning out of the booth for WGN, leading the crowd at Wrigley Field, uh, performing his last Take Me Out to the Ball game. Uh, you know, so you get some great treasures in the book that uh, look like this. And again, look at how beautiful this is in terms of uh, all of the elements that surround uh, this chapter of the book. Uh, something we didn't talk about in the podcast, but uh, just briefly mentioned it anyway, is that uh, there was a number of movies uh, that are made that uh, are related to Take Me Out to the Ball Game, including this one, which is called Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Uh, and you'll see some production stills uh, from when they were creating the movie. And uh, you might recognize a couple of people. you got Frank Sinatra in there and Gene Kelly, uh, who are stars of this show and actually made a little musical uh, about a baseball team. Uh, and Take Me Out to the Ball Game, of course, was the, uh, the key song uh, in the book. Uh, and the last section that I'll show you here, this was something that uh, happened right at the centennial uh, of the song. But in 2007... Uh, at the Hall of Fame ceremony, they got all the living Hall of Famers together and they performed and recorded Take Me Out to the Ball Game just as a, a nice centennial uh, moment for this particular song. So in this uh, copy that you read here, it also talks about how Johnny Bench did a great impersonation of Harry Carey, counting it down and uh, getting the song going. So uh, I hope that this kind of briefly gives you some ideas as to what the book looks like. Uh, it would make a great gift for somebody who's into baseball, and uh, as I say, uh, check it out, listen to the podcast, Tim Wiles does a great job of explaining uh, all of the stories that are in this book, and we get to listen to some of the versions of Take Me Out to the Ball Game as well. So thanks for stopping by, and look forward to hearing from you. Bye now.